Welcome back. Why do people leave those that they love? Maybe you're dealing with heartbreak. Maybe you're thinking about leaving a relationship, but you know you really love that person. So I wanna talk a little bit today about reasons that people leave the person that they love and what you can do to change it. But first, the show you. Ah, you can't wiggle too much. So one of the big reasons why people leave the one they love is they actually don't feel adequate in the relationship anymore. And this can sound really interesting, but often when we're looking at our partners, we want some level of validation. Have you ever wanted to have your partner tell you that they love you, even though you know it? Have you ever wanted them to tell you that you look good, that you're attractive, that you're smart, that you're intelligent? And even though maybe they've told you a million times, there's some days you just need to hear that again, right? So reminding your partner how you feel about them, reminding them why you care about them can be very, very important in making sure that they feel connected enough to stay. Number two, sometimes people don't feel listened to. And I'm not just talking about, oh, you never listened to me because you're actually wandering off and actually not paying attention to listen to, but different people experience being listened to differently. In other words, do you use or show reflective listening skills? In other words, you say, I hear what you're saying. I understand. So let me reframe, help me understand what you're saying, right? So using terms like this and actually making sure and checking in with them about what they're saying so they feel heard, they feel respected, and they feel like you want to know more about what they're talking about can help them feel connected enough so they don't feel like you don't care and ask for that in return. How do you like to be listened to? Have you ever felt like your partner doesn't listen? Maybe you need them to set down the phone or put the phone away. Maybe you need them to talk to you in the morning before you go off to work. Or maybe the most perfect time for you to be listened to is right before you go to bed. So share that with your partner and say, hey, I feel like I haven't been listened to or I wanna make sure that I'm listening to you. Can we set up a time just to have a little conversation? Another reason people leave the ones that they love in a relationship is they don't feel respected anymore. So listen carefully to the clues that your partner is saying. How are they asking for something to be done or something to be not done? Something to be said or not said? Letting them know that you hear that, that you appreciate that and you respect their desires can go a long way in preventing a lot of arguments, first of all, but also making sure that your partner feels respected, loved, and cared for. And then they're less likely to run out the door if they find somebody else or if they are getting respect and love met in a different situation. And last but not least, definitely one of my specialties when I coach people is a lack of physical intimacy. So sometimes we lose a little bit of attraction for our partner, but did you know that even small touches throughout the day Skin-to-skin -skin contact, hand-holding, snuggling on the couch can release the same hormones as sex. In fact, you can still create that emotional, physical intimacy without having sex if sex isn't the thing that you're desiring right now. But it can also keep creating more opportunity for desire. I hear some women say like, oh, my, my partner, my husband only touches me when he wants sex. And perhaps that's true. So how do we change that? So first of all, how do you create more intimacy that's non-sexual? And how do you ask for your partner for more intimacy that's non-sexual? And how do you actually do that in an intentional way? Have you ever wanted just a moment where you feel connected to your partner without actually having sex? Or maybe it's not, there's not enough time for it for whatever reason. That's why it's so important to create intentional touches throughout the day. Touches that aren't meant to necessarily lead to the bedroom. Touches that are meant to just show that you appreciate your partner, that you care. And some people touch isn't their love language. So knowing that about your partner or knowing that about yourself. For example, I know one woman who touches definitely not her love language. And she has to work really, really hard to touch her husband because she wants to show him that she cares. Right, So she works really, really hard to make sure that she puts a hand on his shoulder or gives him a little kiss before he goes to work or when he comes home, that she shows him that she's really trying right, to create that, that um, attention and that touch and that nurturance that he needs in the way that he needs it. So he feels respected, he feels cared for, he's getting his needs met. 
And in that way, she gets her needs met too. Because when you're doing something for your partner that they know is challenging for you, they know that you're making a little bit more of an effort, that helps them feel valuable. That helps them feel loved. And in turn, they'll wanna do something back for you. So I hope this is really helpful for you in how to prevent somebody from leaving you, prevent you from wanting to leave somebody as well, but also if there was break a, a break in your relationship, maybe some reasons why you could do better next time, they could do better next time, and learning lessons that you can take for the future. But just remember, no matter what you're dealing with, you are loved, you are loving, and you are lovable. Please subscribe, I'll see you next time.